Hello and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the thing that I use the most in my real life freelance career that I learned from Cinecom.net. Uh, and the way I use it is a little bit different from the original tutorial where they show it in the rotation reveal in After Effects. Um, where they animated this spinning transition uh, like an Ariana Grande tutorial. It's not essentially the spin transition that I took away from this, but the expression that they use. And all the amazing places that I've been able to use this expression. Well, actually, first things first, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Obviously, I already have it linked in the description below. You can go check it out now if you want, but I'll show you how I use it within After Effects. Some of the best examples I've done so far is I animate a lot of old paintings. Uh, and I did one recently of Sunday Afternoon by George Surratt. And the way I did the animation is I had the world basically build itself. And so I used the expression to have all these pieces pop in and bounce into the scene and I thought it looked incredibly satisfying. And just like the Rotation Reveal video that they showed, uh, I also use that expression a lot for when I'm animating iconic photos to transition into each other. So essentially, this is the thing that I use the most in my daily life that I've learned from Cinecom. It's that expression. I'll show you some practical ways that I use it, starting right now. And also, here's the website and the bounce expression that I use, um, linked down below, of course. But essentially, first step is copy all of this information. Control C or Command C, I think, for Mac users. So bam, we're in After Effects, and I've reconstructed one of the old paintings I've animated to be this little scene. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate all the pieces to pop in in different ways to show you how I've used this expression. So first we'll start with this lady. If I isolate her, we can look at where I placed the anchor point. So originally the anchor point was probably uh, right in the middle, but if you hit Y or come up to the top and select this button for the anchor point tool. We want to drag that down to her feet because I'm thinking for the lady, I want her to scale in. I want her to pop. Uh, and so if I scale her down from this point, she'll stay exactly where she is in the painting. If I left the anchor point over here in the middle and I scaled up, it would look super weird because it would look like she's coming out of thin air and we don't want that. So for any time you want something to scale into the, the scene like I'm about to show you, you always place your anchor point down at the bottom of the, the piece, the feet maybe. So I'll just put it right there. And again, the control for that is Y. So let's create two keyframes, the scale that we have it at now, and let's drag that keyframe out and just click zero. So in real time, if we watch that back, she slows in um, very steadily, all at one fast pace. I'll even make these keyframes go closer to each other closer together. And so here we have her just popping up out of the ground, but it doesn't look that satisfying. And this is where the expression really comes in handy. If you go over to the stopwatch, that's blue, hold down alt and click on it. Since we've already copied the expression from the website, we can actually just hit command V. And the expression you can see here is already copied into the um, expression box. So click anywhere. Uh, and let's watch that back. Ooh, that is just so satisfying. Let's watch that a few times. I think it's just the cool way to bring in motion graphics or 2D animations. It's just satisfying that bounce really buffers the movement. And over time, when you have all the different pieces coming in like this, you can stagger them to come all bounce in at different times in the scene and it just looks really cool. So now I'll do the man. Remember, we wanna do the anchor point down at the bottom, especially if we're using this bounce expression with scale. So scale at where we want him to be, drag it over and click zero. We're going to alt click on the stopwatch and command V to paste the expression in there. And now if we watch it back, we have our man and our lady bouncing into our scene and it's very satisfying. Let's watch that again. Love that. Doink, doink. And to add some extra pizzazz, you can check the motion blur box on your After Effects layers. So as they come in, you have some nice satisfying motion blur that you can see happening in real time here. Boop, boop. All right, perfect. We have the people coming into the scene. Now let's do a rotation one that I like to use in my uh, iconic photo animations where people spin into the next photo. So if we want to use this expression on this cloud and rotate it, 
what we don't want to do is rotate it like this because then we won't we will always see that it's in the frame there's no reveal if it's being rotated so again we have to hit y to grab our anchor point tool and take it outside of the frame like like way far and let's create let's create a keyframe for z rotation come back a few frames and let's just crank the z rotation out so if we watch that back without the expression, it just kind of rotates in really fast, very ugly like. So if we alt click on the Z rotation and command V the expression in there, watch how satisfying it's gonna look. And now with the cloud animated, bam. So you can see how this expression can be used in different like transform properties to just make the entrance really satisfying. You having things bounce in, little wiggle you have thing rotate in little wiggle it's all super fun and now i'll do one with position where we slide in the trees from stage right to stage sort of right but mostly center so again we have the trees this one with the anchor point you can actually just leave it wherever so i'll just put the anchor point right here in the middle and i'll hit p to drop down to position and just make oh siren i'm just gonna full send it so once we drop down position for trees, we can make our keyframe because this is where we want the trees to be, you know. So before that keyframe happens, we move it out of frame. Just like that. So we can watch that back and see that the trees are just coming from right to left into the center of the uh, video. So I'm actually gonna bring those keyframes closer that looks good to me, but of course it's so ugly that it stops so abruptly. Like if I was a client watching this and your 2D animation stopped that abruptly, fired. And so what you gotta do is alt click on the position, command V, get that expression in there, and bam, watch how sick the trees are gonna look. And just like that, bam, wiggle trees. I actually think I wanna make that faster. And maybe, the, and <laughs> maybe, the, and maybe the trees kind of come in right as the cloud does. Just to add some extra momentum and some pizzazz there. <clears throat> and all together, we have the people popping in, the cloud rotating down, and the trees bouncing in. Oh, it's so satisfying. I am a little ho for this expression. And then I'll just have the three other mountains scale up. Oh gosh, what did I just do? And then quickly, I'm just gonna do all the other mountains. Okay, so now I quickly animated all the other mountains to pop up with this expression. And so this is just my final example to show you how cool it is to use this specific wiggle bounce expression with like motion graphics. Because having your scene kind of build like this with all of these different rotations and positions happening accompanied by this little bounce is just so satisfying. I use it all the time, so maybe I'm just biased. But here's just some practical use of the most useful tip I got from Cinecom. I don't know where they got the bounce expression thing from, but shout out to expressions and bounces. Um, and now that you've seen me practically break down how I use this uh, expression, I hope you feel satisfied and knowledge. And now it's time, of course, to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. <laughs> From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a dummy like me. Well, Squarespace has amazing user-friendly analytics. If you wanna know who's coming to your website, your demographics, your numbers, who's buying your products, Squarespace has you hooked up with incredible analytics. Lots of charts, lots of graphs, stuff that I can understand easily. We love that. And next, if you're a photographer, Squarespace will be perfect for you because they have the portfolios and galleries option. This allows you to upload your photography work into professionally award-winning designed templates, designer templates. Um, and this just lets you display your photography to a world in a very professional looking way. I highly recommend. And lastly, Squarespace lets you stay connected by letting you embed all of your social medias into your website. So if you have a SoundCloud that you make music on, you can link that into your website so people who come to your website can find you on SoundCloud. Same if you have like an Instagram embed that right into your site. So stay connected with uh, Squarespace. It's a great way to cross promote. Put all of your socials on your website. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So 
If you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. So thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something new today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. By the way, I just moved. That's why my setup is so janky. Like, this is a, a cloth pop-up. And right behind it is my bed. I don't know if you can see that, but I just moved and I'm figuring it out. We'll have a cooler set soon. <laughs> Bye.